What we look at here in terms of defensive shape is the alignment of the front line pressure cover balance pattern and the midfield pressure cover balance pattern. And the angles are slightly different. Up front, your angle of pressure cover balance is not as radical as your angle in midfield. And there's a reason for that. The reason for it is, even though you do want your front runners collapsing back into midfield and assisting, you'd love for one of them to steal one up top. So you don't want them dropping off too far. You want them to give the impression that, yeah, that left back is completely open as we come out of the back, but the right wing is ready to pounce on any ball across to try to win it early and high. Now the midfield balance has to be more radical. And the reason for that is if you're playing in a 4-3-3, and you're marking with three in the back and sweeping with one, if those three players that you're marking up front have all gone to one side of the field, there's going to be a huge attacking space available over the top on the opposite side. And uh, you need that balancing midfielder prepared to defend that space. She doesn't have to protect her man as much because that man's not as dangerous, although obviously as the ball changes the point to the opposite side, she still wants to be in a position to ultimately close her down. So basically what we're looking at then is a 4-3-3 combination man-to-man -man and zone. And that's our shape. As the ball changes the point of the attack, as it goes from the right back to the center back, your defensive shape changes. What occurs, obviously, is the player that was formerly covering in the middle now pressurizes the ball. So your center forward steps up and pressures. Your left wing drops off the pressurizing position she had earlier and not only drops back but pinches in a bit into the center. And the reason for this is she still wants to be in a position to mark that right back if the ball goes back out there, but she also wants to deny as many passing channels forward as she can. And so she pinches in and back as a result. The opposite player on the opposite side that was balancing more radically now steps up a hair and is ready to pounce on a ball that continues its uh, direction across, but still is covering to an extent that she also is filling passing channels but is also ready to step up and pressurize her player if she gets the ball at left back. Uh, the rest of the players behind the ball are, are marking appropriately. The ones closest are marking tightest, and the ones furthest away can afford to cheat off a little, play some cover, play some balance, and basically play a very secure defense. If there's no pressure on the ball, and you can see in this graphic, the pressurizing player is playing too far off the left midfielder to assert any kind of pressure at all. Your defense can't be tight on the opponent's line because now there's an opportunity for the left midfielder to serve a ball over the top and shred your defense. So as a result, your line is expanded and is ready to seek balls over the top and seek balls basically over the top opposite side. As the pressurizing player closes the ball, now the line tightens and moves forward because now the opportunity for a long ball service is diminished. In order to serve a ball 20, 30, 40 yards over the top, the player on the ball has to have an additional yard or two to prepare the ball away from her, take a long stride to pound at that kind of distance. So the defense reading that the player is closed down can now afford to cheat up, mark tighter, uh, be compressed a bit more, be more concentrated, and the flank midfielder can afford to do the same. From my experience the past couple of years, it's interesting the mistakes we make in the flat back. The biggest mistake is the flat back doesn't press up against the highest front runner, which is critical to compress space, but also to keep the integrity of that back line pushed as high as possible against the opponent. The other mistakes that are made is the defenders don't know when to leave their shape to win possession. And there's a basic rule of thumb. If you know you can win it, you can leave your shape. Or if you leave your shape, make sure the person you're pressurizing doesn't have a supporting player to play the ball back to. Uh, if we correct those options in the flat back, all of a sudden the teams are starting to play.